singing with a guitar. To me, is the ultimate goal to achieve through guitar technique. Many people think speed, clarity, all of that is very important to have. But to sing a beautiful melody is the ultimate goal. And perhaps the most difficult thing to accomplish, particularly when we are not playing a single line melody. If you are playing It's not so difficult because we can let ourselves be carried away from the melody. Of course, we have to have, even when we are playing a single note melody, we have to have a very refined control of the sense of touch. But when we get into bringing out and singing a melody through some single notes, a series of chords, that nuances of the sense of touch is the ultimate and the hardest thing to accomplish. Because the tendency when you play all the fingers at one time is that they all play together. Fernando Sor says, Everything comes out of a chord. And of course, he was completely correct. Giuliani's right hand studies begin with chords. Now, I like to go a little bit deeper into how do you play a chord? In a chord, you have to feel the absolute independence of each finger. I like to think of the hands very much as the strings, a string quartet and a bass. The A finger on the right hand is the first violin. The second finger is the second violin. The viola is the index. The cello or the bass is the thumb. Of course, when you have a, a wonderful string quartet, it plays as one, but it is four individual players. The individuality of the fingers is what really going to, is what is going to make you sing a melody. Knowing exactly what each of them is doing and feeling them independently from each other, even when they play a chord. Of course, we have to, we can find um, studies, gymnastics, they're wonderful gymnastics studies by Tarrega, there's wonderful studies by mm, Sor, by Giuliani, by all the great ones, all the great guitarists, great composers have taken the time to give us a, a way to find our technique. 
one of the most important things is to start by having the independence of the thumb from the fingers. Having the fingers be able to feel either completely relaxed or having one of them active while the thumb is doing something else. That independence become crucial, not only in being able to play a beautiful melody or to play fast or to play accurately and, and to be able to voice uh, in a complicated counterpuntal music, but it plays a great part in the longevity of the technique. I can totally vow for that since I am continuing to play and I am 77 years old and I started, I played my first concert 70 years ago. And one of the most mm, fundamental things that I studied with my father and also observing the right hands of many flamenco players. And um, simple exercises where you start just by training the thumb. In, in, uh, for example, in a soleares. already had quite complex movements in the technique of the thumb. How to play free stroke, how to play rest strokes, how to jump a string and how to return. And all done with the absolute independence while the palm of the hand is just resting, first finger on the first string. That movement there. independent training, not only for the thumb, but then learn how to play the fingers without affecting the thumb. And that brings us to the right hand studies do, doing them with either free stroke or rest stroke on the thumb. So to bring this idea to a close, to sing a melody, you need to control, to have a sense of the individualism and a relationship to each of the fingers in both of your hands. And the choreography, for me, if I was going to put how I feel about my hands when I'm playing into a visual concept, I have five dancers on the left hand. The thumb is the support dancer. 
is the one that catches the, the dancer, lift her up. She can make all the pirouettes she wants with complete faith that he is there to balance and to catch and to help and to help lift and total trust. So what do we have to feel? That because we have developed this tremendous independence, one finger trusts the other finger. And once the fingers can trust each other, we can relax and we can let our body memory do the actual playing not our conscious mind. So, the left hand are dancers. And the right hand is a string quartet playing for the dancers. Everything has to be synchronized. And they have to feel the moment and come into the moment. And everyone is guided by the love they feel for the music. But that independence is very, very crucial in being able to sing a melody. I said many, many times that I'm a frustrated singer, but I do love the way that my head vibrates when I sing, when I speak, when my voice is produced to express an idea. And I feel the sound that is transmitting my feelings is vibrating all the bones inside my head. My nasal cavities are vibrating. When I play the guitar, when I listen to music, they vibrate the same. We are not consciously aware most of the time of that sensation, which is one of the most pleasurable sensations in listening to music, whether you are playing it or someone else is playing it, because it becomes your own voice. And when you are listening to music so to someone else, but particularly when you are playing, it becomes so powerful that your everything, every bone in your forehead, in your skull, mainly because the nasal cavities are really vibrating, you get completely connected to that connects to your thoughts, to your wish for sound. And it feels like the guitar is your own physical voice. And this, for example, I was saying, that, what do I feel when I hear that, when I play it? When I play it, already my fingers have gone through this series of exercises, so they feel free. Mainly, the feeling on the fingers before you start to play have to be of freedom. That there is nothing in the way. They are, they can move they, like the, a bird flying. Pong, 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 pong. And then enjoy it. Yeah? So I have set the rhythm, the pulse, with a little twist in between the pulse. Pong, pong, 
pom tiriti pom pom tararapa pom pom tararapa pom pom now ah i'm ready to receive what is going to be given to me next oh what a beautiful note and i listen it goes into my ears it vibrates my head and how does it vibrate my head the way it vibrates my head my finger goes with it so my the vibrato that i do is guided what my hand does is guided by the pleasure centers of my physical being when you take the guitar in your hands and you begin to play don't forget to turn on the pleasure centers in your body to receive and to produce pleasure to receive and to give out that which is beautiful inside of you it's important to play music that you love music that makes you feel good because if the music makes you feel good is going to bring out what is good inside of you and that's what the world needs 